Coffee. Okay, guys. Boop the snoot. Instincts demanded. Reach through your monitor to boop it. All right. I already have the scene for fire. Uh, we're going to play Breath of Fire, which is an RPG. I hope you guys like RPGs. I know most of you do. That's not the right screen. This is the right screen. So I need, let's see. I need the background, which is, hold on, here. I need the logo. I need to move the logo. <laughs> we gotta know how it got down there. And we gotta move the chat over. And then I gotta bring up the actual game. Oh, and I should probably change my, my um, category on Twitch. Let me do that first, actually. Let's see. The title will be here. There be dergs. Category Breath of Fire. I hate that Breath of Fire 6 is a category on Twitch. That game doesn't exist. They never made a Breath of Fire 6. If you ever hear about there being a Breath of Fire 6, it's totally fake news. Alright. I need my Super Nintendo. Where is it? There it is. Okay, here we go. Squaresoft. Capcom. So Capcom actually made the game Squaresoft, helped them localize it. Um, they, they did the translation and localization process. Basically, oh, here's a little Ryu. Ah. <laughs> Basically, the idea behind it is that this was the first time that Capcom had ever made an RPG. And previous to them, they had never localized a game with as much text as an RPG has. So they were like, uh, we only translate Mega Man. What do we do, you know? So they got Squaresoft to work on it, and then Squaresoft used uh, Ted Woolsey, I believe, which is why the translation in this is kind of super jank, but it's still got, it's got its charm all to its own. This game has really good graphics for its time, really good music. I really enjoy this game. So let's go, let's do this. Game start. Oh, right, I had like a test save. Uh, hold on, what's the cancel button? There we go. No, erase the test save. No, Gargoyle's Quest wouldn't count. I mean, it had some free-roaming stuff, but it wasn't like this. Alright, new game. The hero will be named Ryu, because that's the actual canon name. Ryu. A lot of the character names in this are incorrect. So, I'll point out where Squaresoft changed the names of the... Um, I would rather be... Wait, how do I, I'd write, no, how do I change it though? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, Y will be cancel, B will be choose. And you can make macros with the rest, but it's not really necessary. Oh, I don't, no, I don't want that. How do I just start? There we go, okay. Wait, what? Oh. I don't know if it got my settings right. Here we go. Wake up, warrior. Disaster has struck. We need the power of the dragon. The derg. What is that emote move? Oh, Jesus. You'll perish if you don't wake up. No, I don't want to do that. Let's wake up. So if you notice the little um, thing right here, the uh, the portrait, that's Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins. The village is engulfed in flames. Everything is burning. We must go. It's a very long intro to this game. I know the same composer that worked on Super Ghouls and Ghosts worked on this game. I'll stop this fire. Rada, Kadabra, Kohus, Kuspo. Doomed hometown, exactly, yeah. 
My magic was once strong, but at my age I can barely douse this fire. Wait, actually, I think there might be an item for me to grab. Let me... Yeah. Hold on. It's your only chance to get this. What does Vitality Potion do? I don't remember. V Potion? I think that's what that is. I remember there's a really good item there that, like, once you go down the stairs, you can't get it. It's done. Like, once you go down the stairs, that's it. This building is safe from the flames for the time being. I mean, the upstairs is on fire, but okay. We don't know what caused the fire. Luckily, the people here are safe. The fire is so intense, it doesn't seem natural. Let's go. Esma's magic will hold the flames long enough for us to escape. We woke up surrounded by flames. What have we done to deserve this? We woke up... Uh, same thing. Okay. This building is safe in the flames, but for how long, I don't know. Our fate is with Sarah. Her magic will keep us safe. Sarah's your sister. She's about to appear. Oh, the humanity. This is horrible. I forget what it does. We'll find out soon. No big deal. There's Sarah. The dark dragons are outside of the village. We're surrounded. The dark dragon family is scheming against the other dragon families. Okay, they say that, like, there's more than two. There's only two. I hear that Zog, the dark dragon king, vowed to conquer the world. And his first target is the light dragons. Zog is an evil fool. Why are they trying to destroy us? Zog fears us. He doesn't know that we've lost the power of the dragon. I won't sit by while they attack us. I say we act now. If we can't escape, there's only one thing to do. Fight. <laughs> well, I think that they're saying there's some sort of magic barrier around this particular building, but yeah. I will. I must use my magic against the forces of evil. Let's go. Wait. So some of the name changes in this were just bad translation. Some of them are censorship. I'll point out whatever I can. We are too weak. Our group will be devastated by their powerful army. We can't give up. Let's show them the spirit of the dragon. Who's with me, guys? Come on, Sarah, let's go. No, I must do my part on my own. By turning you to stone. What have you done? I've turned him to stone so the fire will not affect him. Because Rocktai resists fire. Remember our... <laughs> Remember our mission as members of Light Dragon. A prosthetic H. I prefer the name Sarah without the H, personally. Stone or not, they'll still find us. I mean, yeah, but what are they going to do? Chip you to death? No. Why does it have to be you? We've suffered enough. I'll take care of the dark dragons. Be strong. When you're a warrior, you'll bring peace to the world. Take care. May the power of the light dragon prevail. There's so much that's like... Oh, geez, two minutes. Wow. There's so much that's left out of this. Like, they don't even mention that Sarah's your sister until way later in the game. What's up, Itomi? Obviously, I beat Final Doom. Then I'm playing Breath of Fire. I'll try to distract the Dark Dragons. Hey, someone's there! She has the power of the dragon. Take her to the commander. We'll search the area later. We must take care of her now. Sir, we've captured a light dragon. You set fire to our peaceful community. What do you gain from this? She has a point. Okay, so Jade's name in the Japanese release was Judas, which tells you a lot about him. Um, they changed it to Jade. It might be censorship. But personally, I think it was just because of the four character limit. You could not fit the name Judas in there. My order is role to eliminate all light dragons. I always follow orders. I'm just doing my job. Please don't blame me. Well, please don't strike me with lightning either. Whoa! They scatter like little cockroaches. Our village has been destroyed. Wow, you're strong. Come on. I love this cinematic little cutscene battle. For the time, this was mind blowing. I can't let you interfere with Zog's plans. Because remember, I'm just coming from like NES RPGs, you know? Nothing personal. We will stop you. 
There was nothing like this in like Dragon Quest 3, you know? I don't think so. We have the goddess keys. The goddess keys. You're a pretty good scrapper. Too bad you're on the wrong side. Don't come any closer. What will you do with Tyr, the goddess? Okay, so Tyr's actual name is Myria, but obviously they couldn't fit that in there. So I think they just chose the name of a god from uh, Norse mythology, Tyr, but it's supposed to be Myria. So every time you see Tyr, I'm going to say Myria. What will you do with Myria, the goddess? It took them three names to three three games to get her name right. It's in the second one they spelled it wrong. It's all then again the second game is a mess. When I play Breath of Fire two, I'm gonna play a retranslated version. Take this slime. He just tanks it. Yeah, hey, hey, jokes on you. I like fire. It's hot. You didn't even flinch. Come on. Is that all you've got? <laughs> oh, Judas. Sudden narration is sudden. Hydrate for my pun. Okay. When the dragon family was at the peak of its power, a goddess of desire appeared. The goddess, Myria, granted wishes. How is the translation on the retranslation of two? The goddess, Myria, granted wishes. The dragons fought each other for her power. Myria encouraged the fighting and watched the war between the dragons escalate. When the world was at the brink of destruction, a warrior stepped forward. It's really good, yeah. I can't wait to play that. I've never played the retranslated version. I played the original, I played the Game Boy Advance version, but I never played the retranslation. The warrior battled Myria with his seven companions and locked her up using six keys. These goddess keys were scattered throughout the world and hidden away. Like, even the name of this town is wrong. It's supposed to be Dragnir, but they called it Drogon in this game. And in the second game, it's Doligny, which is even worse. It's like Uncle Dolan. The light dragons balanced the power of family, and peace reigned again. They probably took the portraits from the Game Boy Advance version, I would imagine. All right. Thank you. Call me. We'll see you around, man. What's going on? What happened to Sarah? Sarah saved us. Chief, don't you think that we should fight for Sarah? We've renounced the dragons. Their battles aren't ours. We must fight for Sarah and the pride of the light dragons. We must think of survival. Soon this place will be in ruins. No. And she just jumps, and everything starts breaking apart, and they're like, ah, scary. The warrior of the dragon is only a myth. We must escape now. I know that I should try to stop you, Yuru, but I can't. Take this. It's not much, but you could use it for equipment. It starts the overworld music right away. Four dollars! We'll stay here. Come back if you need a rest. Zog will be brought to justice soon. Good luck, warrior. Oh, it'll be a long time before we bring Zog to justice. Where's my menu button? Oh, it's select. Okay. Alright. Let's see this. Oh, it just raises... It's vigor potion. Raises his vigor. Okay. I forget what vigor does in this game. Doesn't matter. It's a stat up. Alright. These are shops. Only these items remain. Do you need anything? All right, what do you got? Dirt. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to buy that. I meant to do look at this and see. He already has a dirk. Uh. What I want is a saber, probably. All right, yeah, yeah, it's better. Don't have enough money. All right. Probably because I went and bought a dirk, like a derp. Gotta get used to which buttons are which. Ah. All right, so the saber's 400. We'll uh, we'll go save up for that real quick. A lot of times in the past, I would just leave and go to the next area without even buying anything here. But we're not going to do that this time. Get into a few battles. What do we got? Slimes? Nothing I can't handle. Hmm, fuck you. Ah, you missed. 
They don't give a lot of uh, money, though, from what I remember. So as you can see, everybody's got their like their little life bars. The only thing is bosses. The life bars are pretty much meaningless because no boss dies when you deplenish its life bar. They always have reserve hit points, and you never know how much it's going to be. Like the first boss, I remember you just hit him once and he dies after that. But some of them are let's see, ten, yeah. Oh, you can hunt uh, monster. Uh, well, you can hunt uh, animals sometimes. Not much point to it right now though. But doing this will allow us to gain a few levels here and there, you know, and then we'll move on. We don't really need the equipment in the first town. Unlike Romancing Saga, yeah, we start with some basic ass, basic bitch slimes. I can definitely use a little bit of heal me. I think you can heal in the, uh, if you go to Esma. I think. Usually I do just move on, but I'm playing a little differently. Are you over here now? Zog's Empire is beyond the ocean. It'll be a long journey, you. You must be tired. Take a break. Yeah, it's a free heal. There's a lot of harpsichord in the uh, soundtrack, huh? If you notice that. Well, the hunting is very basic. It's not super useful. The only time that you need an item that you get from hunting is uh, when you have to get the potion. You need a white antler. But there's a few that you can find. So as long as you didn't derp out and sell all your uh, white antlers or use them as items, as long as you hold on to at least one, you're good. The fishing in this isn't particularly good either. You know, a lot of that stuff became better in Breath of Fire 2 or 3. Well, 3 didn't really have hunting. 4 did. I got an herb. So, I might actually have enough, even though I don't have 400. When you do that trade thing, it, uh... Yeah. It, um... Automatically sells what you have. No, not enough. Okay. It's alright. Then there's all this stuff. I'm, I'm not going to get into the armor. I'm just going to get the saber and move on. I want the more powerful weapon. Because, believe it or not, the first dungeon that you go to will give you a bunch of armor. And a lot of it is the same shit. But I'd like to have the saber from the get-go. You ever get white meat? That's the hardest one to get. It's almost impossible to do unless you have... Um, Karn Shamanize. Level 2! If you Shamanize Karn into... Uh, I think it's called Shin? The the guy? Alright, these are fleas. They're not any harder, really. Um, you can sometimes shoot the birds. Never got the white meat? I've, I've gotten it. it. Wasn't the easiest thing, but yeah. It pretty much requires either massive luck or shamanization. I remember when my uncle was playing this, the whole part with making the potion near the end was like almost impossible for him because he sold the white antlers. And he would like, I'd finally see a white deer and it would be like on the other side of some mountains or something. Thankfully they never did anything like that again. In Breath of Fire. Like out of all the out of the, all the five all five Breath of Fire games, this one's easily my least favorite. And that's only because the series improved so much after this. Like Breath of Fire Two is a better game despite its super jank translation. It's super janky, how? And I am not feeling well. No, oh, I keep talking to you. You're not the one I need to talk to. I think I'm just tired, and my acid reflux is bothering me, you know? But of course, with this whole thing with my sister possibly being exposed to COVID, I'm in my own head somewhat, you know? I'm sure she'll, she'll test negative for it. I've been taking my temperature every day, so... Uh, maybe... Let's see. No, no, no. See, that second icon is to trade... The current weapon for the better one. You feel that pain? Yeah. I'm just in my own head. I think that's what's going on, you know? Oh! 
I think they're bulls, they're called? Oh, bulla. Bulla. Well, I went up a level, so I should be able to take care of these guys. I should explain what all these icons mean, actually. So from this, that's that's to fight normally. This is auto battle, that's to run. Uh, that's obviously to look at your stats if you need to. And this is to move, uh, swap characters or rows. And then when you go in here, it's fight with your weapon, defend, use magic or an item. Well, the thing is like, she's, you know, oh yeah, counterattack. Um, she was, po you know, had the exposure, the possible exposure on Thursday, and she was over here on Saturday, so. That's the shitty thing. Leveled up again. All right. 334. I'm going to head back to heal, though. Yeah, so it's like, you know, she had the test yesterday. She's probably going to get the results either later today or tomorrow. You know. But like I said, I took my temperature yesterday. It was normal. I took my temperature today, right before the stream. It was normal. And I my temperature actually runs really low. Like, um, like you know how they say, oh, your temperature should be 98.6? It almost never is. It's usually like 97.2 or something like that. But I just kind of just don't feel well as it is, which is just par for the course for me, you know? This would have gone faster if I didn't accidentally buy that extra Dirk. Dirk or Dirk. Get that Dirk. Dirk is such a funny name for a dagger. Like Dirk. There's no Dirk and Rush. Whenever I see Dirk, that's the first thing I think of. There's no Dirk and Rush. 96.8. It's ill inverted. At least it wasn't 68.9. Or 69.8. Nice. How much money do I have now? All right. I think if I get 375, that'll be enough. I'm going to speed this up a bit because I do want to move along. Single slime. Yeah. I'd rather go up here because the bullets up here, even though they hurt. The little groundhog guy. <laughs> yeah, so the little groundhog guys drop meat. Um, the birds drop white meat. The deer drop antlers, and the white deer, white antlers, another herb. Oh. 360? Let me try getting 375 and see if I can trade for the saber then. I could totally just move on, but I wanted to, I want to play it properly, you know, even if I am using speed up a little bit. I'm not going to abuse speed up, I promise. Just for grinding like this. Because you normally I would just go rush down the first boss. And, and it's like I'd beat him and like level up like three times, you know? That's right, they got to make sure their shit's calibrated. Alright, that should be more than enough. And if not, this will do it, right? <laughs> Yeah, 60 over 40. Like, people think, like, high blood pressure is really, really bad. It's okay, it's bad for your health, but, like, would you rather have high blood pressure or low blood pressure? You'd rather have high blood pressure. Trust me, you don't want low blood pressure. Because if it's really high, there's things that they can do to lower it. But if it's really low, there's not a lot they can do to raise it. Except for, like, possibly adrenaline or a blood transfusion, you know? If it's... All right, I should be able to get the saber easily now. Yeah, 25 is what I thought. And it even tells you how much money you'll have left. There's all this armor that would be useful, but it would take forever to grind up enough for it, and the first dungeon gives you armor, so we're going to head that direction. Ba, ba, ba. Another thing this game was kind of bad at was telling you the names of the towns. That's Drogon, or it's supposed to be Dragnir. And this town is called Camlon. That's coming up. And Camlon is also all fucked up. And the cool thing about doing the trade thing is it automatically equips the new weapon, so you don't have to worry about going into the equipment screen afterwards. You pretty much only go into the equipment screen when you find stuff in dungeons. 
Our hometown, Nanai, has been occupied by the Dark Dragons. That's the other town you saw across the lake. The Dark Dragon forces have invaded our land. They now control Nanai. Right, talk to you. We've escaped one dangerous situation, only to face another one. The castle has been occupied by putrid monsters. Well, if they're putrid monsters. Ryu, we should fight. When I was in a nine monsters, kick me out. That's a save thing, by the way. I should probably use it, because I haven't saved it all yet. Oh, the first time you die, it automatically brings you back to the nearest save point. I am the Dragon Lord. I protect those who take on the mission of the hero. I'm here to record your journey. Okay. The Dragon God's name is Ladon. I don't think they say it until the third game, though. Or maybe the second, I don't remember. What are we going to do about all these stinking monsters? We need a strong fighter to chase after the creature from the castle. You want us to go up against monsters? You're crazy. Or two Gallagher chancellors? What? The Dark Dragon family destroyed my kingdom. I must now rebuild. I don't see no sledge -o -matic up in this shit. I don't fear the Dark Dragons. So this is the first dungeon. It's a pretty linear thing. What's cool about this place is there's a few heal spots. I think there's one right there. Oh, I haven't gotten into any battles yet, so oh, there's one. All right, we got, a, I think it's called the Gloom? Yep, Gloom. Since I did stop to buy that saber, I can pretty much two-shot any enemy in here. We'll build a new kingdom with blackjack and hookers. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is very easy, though. It's very doable at level 1, and I'm level 3, so another Gloom. If I hit level 4, I might be able to one-shot the Glooms. Hey, there's level 4. Hey, story. You've hit level 4, holy boy. Hey, story it is. Got me... $4. $4. A lot of cool sound design, like when you step on the bones, it makes a crunching sound. Oh, uh, okay. They're supposed to be called gong heads. For whatever reason, they renamed them to beak. What's funny is in the second game, there's a single unique gong head near the beginning of the game that's called a beak, and then everything after that, they're called gong heads. Or maybe it's the other way around, but something like that. So check it out. Dem bones, dem bones. Mm -mm. I love the sound effects in this. Herb. Bronze sword. That might actually be better than the saber. Let's see. It is. Okay. See, I didn't really need the saber, but I gained levels doing it, you know? Nothing there. Nope. What do we got? I should probably be able to one-shot most of these guys now that have a bronze sword. No, nope, not the beak. I'll heal up after this. I mean, I could try to make it to the next healing point, but my health's pretty low, so what we'll do instead is I will use myself an herb. I gotta make some shortcuts. This is driving me crazy. Hold on. Uh, let's do... We'll make X item, and we'll make A change. Gauntlet and herb. All right. Oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Actually, I got a better idea. I'm going to make X equip. I'm going to make A item, and I'll make R, actually. I'm going to make that change. L, I'll make it like... No, I'm not going to use L. All right. There we go. That's better than that wood shield that I had. Our kingdom will have lots of blackjack and hookers. What's funny is that you can come back later in the game and they fix up Camelon and they're all partying. There's definitely blackjack and hookers. And there's a statue of Ryu that they put up. All right, we got a Gloom. I should be able to one-shot him at this point. Yeah, I was going to say. Level four with the bronze sword? He going to die. More treasures. Do, 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 do. Suede cape and herb. All right, suede cape. That's better. 
What do we got? A uh, gloom! Gloom in June! Whoa, T Bolt, hello. Ghost types don't usually get a Thunderbolt. Ah, damn it. Alright, what do we got? Oh, it's Grimer! What's he called in this? Uh, Creep. Alright. It's actually one of the stronger monsters you can run into, and you don't usually see them in there, but you can't tell me that ain't, like, fucking... That's Grimer from Pokemon Insurgents, where he's a Ground-type. I got another Herb. Okay. Herb. Visor. Alright. Let's quickly use an Herb, and then let's see about equipping that Visor. Better than the Straw Hat. It brings his action down and his magic, but you don't really need that right now. Action is basically your speed. So like if you look at the um, stats, you've got um, strength, vigor, which I guess is like constitution, you know, like your basic defense without magic, without armor, agility, wisdom, and luck. So, I mean, action is your agility as tempered by your equipment. Kind of like how defense is your defense tempered by uh, equipment or, or vigor. Okay. Oh, I should grab the other one first because that's the sprawling antidote or ended. Yeah, I think this one poisons you or something. I should have grabbed this one and then that one, but that's it's fine. All right, another creep. I'm a creep. I'm a weenie. Get the hell out of here. I never belong here. Dark Mist. Oh, you just lose ability points. That's no big deal. We don't have anything to use ability points on. All right, here we go. You have no reason to be in my castle. Get out. Slimeless humans, you think you can drive me out? Go ahead. Try. All right, our first boss is a frog. At level four with the equipment I have, this is not going to be that much of a problem. You get to low health, you just use an herb. Get out of Barrel's castle. No, Barrel would want frogs in his castle. He's obviously stronger than you, but he don't have herbs. And you get the occasional counterattack, too. Oh, it's a critical. They call them slams in this for some reason. It's basically a critical hit. Although there's some characters that the slam attack is called a continuous attack. I don't know. Barrel might make the argument that every frog is cute. Even the ones that clearly aren't. You know what I'm saying? Barrel might make that argument. Okay, Lykios, you're going to be choosing the raid target when we finish. What's up, man? I seem to remember doing a lot more damage to this guy, but... It's taking a long time. Ow, quit it. Okay, well, you gotta wait till the actual point in time. Like, telling me now doesn't help. I'm not gonna remember that. What am I doing? No, 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 no. That'll be, like, probably, like, 4.30 or so. Mark of the Ninja Remastered. Okay. We finished up, uh... Final Doom Plutoni Experiment, and now we're playing Breath of Fire. When he starts recovering, he's pretty much desperate. I notice that I'm doing more than he can recover. Or like I said, boss life bars are pretty much meaningless. Frog seems alright. I should be able to kill him in one more shot, though. And you're dead. Ooh, I underestimated your strength, warrior. Alright, and level 5. I might level up twice. Yep, level 6. Ooh, three times. Level 7. Nice. 
That foul air is filtering out and fresh air is coming into the castle. I understand. I mean, I would just start with, like, Breath of Fire 3 or 4, the ones on PlayStation. Those are, like, the really, really good ones. All right, let's the... All right, so there's no more enemy encounters now. Herb. Four dollars. Unfortunately, it's a little while before they clear out the rocks, so you can't just walk down to get out. You have to walk out the way I came through the two treasure rooms. But the next time I come here, all the rocks and shit will be cleaned out. Ah. <laughs> See that, Lachios? Is that loud enough for you? Do you need me to turn it up? <laughs> Fucking shit. How is it foul air? It's an amphibian. God damn it. Ugh. At least you don't have to fight enemies on the way out. I'll hit up the heal point on the way out, too, actually. I thought there was more than one, but that might be Breath of Fire 2 I'm thinking of. And now we're healed. I mean, it doesn't heal your ability points, but you don't... Is that at this point, you're not doing anything that requires ability points. Oh, there are two heal points. Pretty much right next to each other, too, which is, like, silly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, we're out of here. You defeated the monsters. You're not a false hero. Who are you? That scar. It looks familiar. Sudden earthquake is sudden! What a shocker. The dark dragons must have the quake control. There is a hidden palace in the, Nan in the Nanai dungeon. Find the quake control. Please go there and put an end to these quakes. These quakes that just started just now. Oh, you say the same thing. The quake control can cause quakes anywhere. If it falls into evil hands, which it already has... Let's sneak into the nan into Nanai tonight when the enemy forces are resting. You literally has to be nighttime to sneak in. I should have fought the monsters. It was my duty, but they were too strong. Plus, I ain't shit. You're very brave to take on the odious monsters of the castle. I didn't know Ryu was such a great warrior. He could he could rid us of Zog. Our hometown Nanai has been occupied by the dark dragons. Okay, come here. Did you feel that? The ground shook. We've never had earthquakes before. Swick. Alright, some sl slimes. Actually, just use the auto battle for this. You must overcome my dragon punch to stand a chance. Somehow becomes you must defeat Shang Long. <laughs> like what? <laughs> da, da, da. Because he doesn't say Shang Long in Japanese. Shang Long's not even Japanese. It's Chinese. Uh... So it's an odd thing for a Japanese man to say. He says Shoyuken in the Japanese version, which is Rising Dragon Punch. Fleas! They're gonna play the bass. See, they're playing the bass. Counterattack. And you're dead. Ba 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 Jop a da bass slap a da bass Why do you sound like a leprechaun? More fleas Boom 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 Every time I get a flag by a flea I'm gonna do that Boom 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 Ding 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 boom 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 There's actually a thing there that we'll have to come back to at one point it's starting to get dark. We can't go into Nenai until it's dark. Alright. Tree slimes. Ah, ah, ah. You keep slapping that bash. Get fucked. GF. Oh, oh no, it's a guy. See, if you try and come here during the day, there's these guards blocking you. Halt intruders, who goes there? Same thing as the other guy. So we just wait for nighttime. Um, so just 
fight a few enemies and wait. It's a very gradual shift from day to night, night to day, as you can see. Darksiders remastered. War, war, war mastered. I didn't know that. Wait, is that on PC or are you like capturing the Xbox? PC? I didn't know it was on PC. Oh, wow. That's like Edgelord Zelda. <laughs> Zelda for Edgelords. I didn't do the thing. It doesn't have to be like pitch black. I might be able to get in now because it's like kind of twilighty. The guards fall asleep pretty early. And then there's sort of like a stealth thing where slam! Where you gotta get through Nanai without getting caught. Although if you get caught, there's no real consequence other than you just have to do it over again. Yeah, it's a good- yeah, see, they're sleeping already. <laughs> I think you can actually stay at the inn here. Oh no, you can't. Alright, but it's worth it to come in here because a lot of these inns have these things. Strength potion. Alright, it's good to use that. Oh, right. stop it, stop, stop it. You're annoying me. The same composer that- well, shut up. The same composer that worked on this, this soundtrack for um, uh, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. So that's really cool. Some of the buildings you obviously can't get in at all. Bug Fables? I don't know. I've seen it. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, $4. $4. Stop it. I haven't really considered it. Gibbs, you have to 100% shut the fuck up. Yeah, the Daily Bark by Gibbs. Nothing here. Okay. You can actually get in the weapon shop. Which I'm going to. Stop it, alright? Welcome to weapon shop. Welcome to die. Alright. Long sword. I'm not going to be able to afford that, am I? Uh, no, but I still have, wait, hold on, I have some stuff to sell. No. No, stop, stop. Right, sell the robe. Sell the saber. Sell the straw hat. Sell the wood shield. Alright, it's probably still not enough to get a long sword. No, I do want that though, because that's like a really good sword for a while. Uh, the stories are like, I farted and then sniffed my butt. Um, that's that's a big story that they have. Uh, there's also, um, what the hell was that noise? There might be something in here, actually. Let's see. No, this looks like bullshit. There's nothing here. Okay. Take his dog. What? Like, is he going away and he wants you to watch his dog? Or does he want to give you the dog? I don't know if I can get into that. I don't think I can get into that house. All right, so the trick is going to be going into the dungeon, grabbing a few things, and then coming out to buy that long sword. So to get to the dungeon, you just got to go this way, and then very carefully go up in here. There might be things on the sides. Let me check. I forget. Bop, bop. Ba, 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 ba. Nothing there. Ma, 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 ma. But you can occasionally hear, like, either in this game it might remind you of Super Ghouls and Ghosts or the other way around. It's the same composer. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. Alright. And there's an upstairs that I don't think there's much use in going up there, but I'm going to check it real quick. Yeah, it's just a throne room. I don't think there's anything going on here. Oh, so he wants you to just take the dog. I mean, that's up to you, obviously. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Donk, I love the sound effects in this. 
Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So I'll probably clear out this room and then go back and get that long sword. Mm -hmm. We got two gong heads or beaks as they're called here for some reason. Ow, quit it. I mean, if she's allergic to dogs, that's a big thing, you know? Aw, oh, Goldie mix, nice. That sounds cute. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, two of them this time. I do love that the battle background changes if you're on a bridge. To show you the shitty bridge that no one would want to walk across, because look at that fucking shit. Four dollars. That's a lot of money. Does that give me enough? Let's see. That gives me more than enough. I'll go get the freaking sword now. One, two, three gong heads. Ah, ah, ah. Might be able to get a few pieces of armor too if necessary. This town actually gets destroyed, so if you don't get the equipment that's here now, uh, you don't get it. And you might be going into the next area with subpar shit. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I will have to heal myself, though. Very soon. Counterattack. Yeah, Breath of Fire always seemed to be big on missable shit. Actually, I think I can kill him here without having to heal. We'll heal after the battle. Because of the counterattack, I was able to get that in there. The herbs are like the basic bitch healing item, but let me just pop over here real quick. But they're like really good in the beginning. It's a while before they're completely useless. Antidote. All right. It's a while before anything can poison you, too. So by the time you get to that point where enemies are poisoning you, you have plenty of antidotes. <laughs> but yeah, Breath of Fire like to put in missable shit. Also, Easter eggs. You can find Chun-Li in this game. I already showed you Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts. But when the time comes, I'll show you Chun-Li. That's a little while later, though. It's not going to be today. Chun-Li was also in Breath of Fire 3, and so was Sakura from uh, Street Fighter. Like, other Capcom characters just tend to appear in Breath of Fire randomly. Alright. Which Chun- what do you mean, which Chun-Li? There's only one Chun-Li, bro! The, the one with all the thigh? Yeah, I don't know any other Chun-Li. Chun-Thick? Uh. Oh, well, I mean, it's drawn in the style of Breath of Fire, so... <laughs> she doesn't look like, you know, that. Let's see, suede shield. No. Suede cape? I think I have a suede cape. I already have that. Wood shield? No, I know I don't need that. Yeah. Hairband I can't use, and silk gown you can't use. That's for a character we don't have yet. You could save up and buy those, that when you can get that character, she starts out with better equipment. But it would take a long time, it's just pretty expensive shit. And it's really not necessary. Mainly you just want that long sword. It especially helps with the next boss coming up. It's uh it'll take me a little while to get to that point anyway. But uh, yeah, Chun Li Chun Li appears in this game. She also appears in Breath of Fire 3. Sakura is in Breath of Fire 3 in the same scene as Chun Li. Arthur has his portraits strewn all over the place in this game. Um There's other instances of Capcom characters appearing, but that's off the top of my head. Also, each Breath of Fire has its own cast, but former cast members will always make little appearances. The only character, like, okay, Ryu reached level 8. There's always a Ryu and always a Nina, but they're always a different character, kind of like Link. But um, Dees is always the same character. Did I do this yet? I don't think I did. That's oh, a poison bug. All they do is poison you, but they're so weak. That if there's only one of them, they don't... But they, they can literally do... No, I gotta go back and get that. They can't do anything but poison you. I don't think they can actually attack. There kind of is a running story to at least Breath of Fire 1 through 4. But they, um, they take place hundreds of years apart. So it's kind of like Zelda in that sense. Okay, that's a bolt stone. 
There's plenty of move bait characters in Breath of Fire. Plenty of them. Like, Breath of Fire 2 takes place hundreds of years after this one. And there's some references to the first game, but it's very much its own thing. And then Breath of Fire 3 is even further in the future. And that one um, makes a lot of direct references to Breath of Fire 1. Breath of Fire 4 is usually considered to be the prequel. But it can fit anywhere, really. Since it's sort of an alternate story. Breath of Fire 5 is definitely, like, its own thing. Got an herb. Like, it's not... There's references to other games, but it's not connected to them. And then Breath of Fire 6 is fake news. Never happened. If you hear about Breath of Fire 6, somebody's lying to you. Why the fuck you lying? Yeah, it was a pretty good video, even though James has some weird pronunciations. Like, Skyon? Really? That's not even a fake, made-up name. It's a real word. Scion. Not Skyon. Oh, look at this shit. Alright, let me just make sure I get this guy first, because he can use a thunder magic. Well, the most recent Breath of Fire was back on PlayStation 2, so there, there, there's not really a recent Breath of Fire. I mean, like I said, I'm not counting Breath of Fire 6. It was only released in Japan, and it was a fucking browser game. Arm pad. I might actually want to equip that. So any of them, I would I would jump to Breath of Fire 3, personally. Oh, Dragon Quest? Yeah. Well, actually, as James pointed out in his video, there's no official Dragon Quest timeline, but the one that most people agree, everybody agrees on one thing, Dragon Quest XI is the first one chronologically. Nice counterattack. I was going to heal, but now I'll just kill this guy. Grimer fainted. So, um, like, it splits into different timelines past 11, but, uh, you really, like, I, I enjoyed Dragon Quest 11 on a different level because it made so many references to so many other games, but you don't need to have played any of them, really. If you ever wanted to play them in story order anyway, it starts with 11. And 11, I think, is an excellent jumping on point for Dragon Quest. Like, if anybody asks me, like, how do I get into Dragon Quest? Which game should I start with? I just, just play Dragon Quest 11. It's really fucking good. Okay, a Firestone. These Boltstone, Firestone items, they've become very useless later on. But at the beginning of the game, they're very useful. Oof. Like some bosses you can really rack with the stone type things. Hmm. Yeah, that's the whole thing about capture cards. You need to have the ability to actually make it work physically. <laughs> Cure. Okay, Cure is a really good healing item. I'm probably going to hang on to that for a long time. It heals you to full no matter how many hit points are needed. By the way, the reason I don't always use auto battle is because sometimes when you hit auto battle, Ryu will target the most random. Ass like I think he would target the the creep first because the creep has the most hit points, but the creep can't hurt you as bad. So I try to take out the enemies that can hurt you the most first. Definitely gonna heal up after this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're almost done with this dungeon, though. It might be wise to run from this, but I'm not always wise. <laughs> Alright, that's good. I didn't get hit by lightning. Well, you could always get, like, extenders for Like, I'm assuming there's USB involved, you know? You just gotta do it without too much signal degradation, you know? There we go. Now fight this asshole. 
Who disturbs my privacy? I'm taking over the world with this machine, and no one can stop me. Uh, yeah, about that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Bolt Stone quick. That'll take off a lot of his health. Not bad, Manic. I actually kind of kicked ass. And I also have a Fire Stone, so I'll use that one. Not bad. All right, that gives us a good advantage. I hope I can get through this without having to use that Cure. Don't get excited, Moog. Hey, a miss and a counter. You can yes, you can even counter on a miss. Of course, not every character in this can counter. Or characters that use ranged weapons can't. Eyes of Eternity. No, that sounds very generic. I've never, never heard of that one. Right, I'm going to use an herb. my last herb. Eternal Eyes? No. No. Not heard of that either. Ooh. I might have to use the Cure. I really don't want to. I need some Criticals or some Counters here. I've heard of a lot of PS1 RPGs, but not that one. Shit, I have to do it. Oh, a tactical RPG? Yeah, no. The only tactical RPGs I knew of on the PlayStation 1 would be um, Tactics Ogre and Final Fantasy Tactics, you know? I guess there was also, like, Tearing Saga, but I never played that one. I don't even know if that was on PS1, actually. Yeah, when enemies start recovering, you know they're kind of desperate. Well, I guess Ark the Lad was on PlayStation as well. That's a tactical RPG. Hmm, interesting. Sounds like you make them into zombies. Wasn't there another game where, like, if your characters died, you could raise them as zombies? Like, I think Ogre Battle did something. Oh, I'm gonna lose this. It's alright. I had a lot of bad luck in this, yeah. That was terrible. I don't know why I did so badly. Take your time and you will succeed. I'll buy some herbs before I go back in there. Vandal Hearts? What? Maybe. I thought it was Ogre Battle. Not Tactics Ogre, but Ogre Battle that had the zombie thing. Yeah, I'll just be sure to buy... I, I really should have bought herbs before I went in there. That way I couldn't wouldn't have wasted that cure. But I had a lot of bad luck. I didn't get very many counterattacks. I didn't get any criticals. And it sucks because now I've wasted the Bolt Stone and the Fire Stone that I had. Not Battle Ogre. No, Ogre Battle. March of the Black Queen. Or maybe it was Ogre Battle 64 that did that. I don't remember. Been a long time since I played any of those. But yeah, James, James Rolf's video on Dragon Quest was very good. It was very well made. I enjoyed it. He did pronounce a few of the Dragon Quest things a little weird, which is fine. Like, he, like Prince Kiefer, he kept saying Prince Kiefer. Prince Kiefer from Dragon Quest Seven, But then, like, like when he said Skyon, I'm like, Skyon? No, it's Scion. That's a real word. That's not something made up. But we had the same thing when, when me and Tanya made Chronicles of a Dark Lord 2. Um, oh, wait, that's a weapon shop. Do they even sell herbs there? They might. No, they don't. I have to get to the item shop. Where is there even an item shop in this place? What are you talking about? We're literally talking about a video that he posted yesterday. On YouTube. So I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, there's an item shop, but I can't get... It's, in, it's inaccessible. Which means I gotta go back to Drogon to buy stuff. I mean, he still does... Yeah, he's done tons of AVGN shit. Are you sure you're still subscribed to him? Did you hit the notification bell? 
This subscriptions are meaningless unless you hit the notification bell and then set it to all notifications. Go check. Make sure. YouTube's been known to do some fuck shit like that. I, every, almost every day I get somebody telling me, I didn't know you still made YouTube videos. Like, yeah, I never stopped. I've been subscribing to you for 10 years. I didn't know you still made videos. Thanks, YouTube. Somebody's been subscribed for 10 years and thought I stopped. Oh, wait, I gotta go around. I've never lost to that knight before. That was really bizarre. And I'm a higher level than I normally am at that point. So that, that was extremely unlucky. Extremely unlucky. God, I gotta pee again. What is with me today? Can't believe I had to come all the way back here. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> oh, god damn. Ooh. Yeah, it's allergies. Ooh. There, now I have plenty of herbs. It unsubbed you? Yeah. Shit like that happens. Or honestly, if you ever use YouTube on your phone and you had it in your pocket, you could have pocket unsubbed. Shit like that has happened. Sucks that Camelon doesn't have a fucking shop. And there is an item shop in Nanai, but it's inaccessible because there's a, a guard standing right by the entrance. What's interesting is that there's actually a music track in this game that's unused. And it's specifically a bar theme. And it's supposed to be a song that plays in Nanai in the bar. And I think the idea was from an earlier version of the game where Nanai did not get destroyed. And that you would be able to visit that bar. Because you can't visit the bar now because there's a guard right in front. But I think the idea was... Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm going towards Wendy. Uh. But yeah, um, I think they, they were thinking of that you would save Nanai. So there was a bar theme, because it's the only town that has like a bar like that. Or maybe they were thinking that other towns would have bars like that, you know. I'm such a high level, I should have been able to beat that knight easily. That was very, very unlucky. Well, I can't stay at the end, what am I thinking? There's nobody there. Nobody's manning the bar. Yeah, you can see the bar right there, but there's a, like, he's sleeping, but you can't get past him. So there is a theme, uh, a song used, an unused song that you can find on the soundtrack. That is the, uh, this is the wrong way, the bar theme. Well, I don't know what they were planning on doing, Moogle, but I know that there is a, there's an unused song in the game soundtrack. Oh, I'm going to speed through this dungeon because I did it once already. Yeah, I, I, that was weird. I never lost to that guy before. Even when I didn't know what I was doing as a kid playing this game. I never lost to that asshole. But normally, in terms of fighting him, I get at least one or two critical hits. I'm gonna get poisoned. It's fine. The effect of being poisoned is so weird. Oh. Nope. Not worth it. Worth it. So that was weird that I had to do it over again. And now I gotta do it without the stones. That's what's really shitty. Because there, there's, there's no way those things are coming back. Yes, he goes after the creep first. But this time I have plenty of uh, herbs. It's just gonna be a time consuming battle. Whoa, hello. What is wrong with me today? See, he saves the glooms for last, probably because they don't have much hit points. Or, okay, or he just does them in a weird order like that. Where's the fucking... I think it's this way, actually. Wait. I'm confused about where I am. <laughs> Talking too much. But usually you get, like, a couple of... Slams, you know, counters, it help along. I, I got like one counter and no slams. So that was, like I said, extremely unlucky. Extremely so. I 
All right. All right, before I attempt this again, I'm sorry, but it's one of those days. I gotta pee again, get down. Oh! No jumping on me! I definitely no barking in my face. hurts me when you jump. All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about so many bathroom breaks. Sometimes I just get in one of those days where I have to take several breaks during a stream, and sometimes I get through the whole thing with no problem. All right, round two, motherfucker. So I lost the stones because I wasted them, and also that cure that I was really hoping to hold on to. Ah. Uh, also, you get unlucky with him casting Thunderbolt a lot. So this is just going to take a long time. Oh my god. Well, at least it's at full health. The good thing about it is it's always 20 damage. It's never more. The night who won't say me. Ooh. Well, hopefully I either outspeed him or he doesn't use Thunderbolt. Okay, we're good. Yeah, put me at exactly 20 health. So you could see by the bottom with their, the three other cards down there that you would have four characters in battle, but you actually can bring all eight characters into battle. It's just that some of them are in a back row, but you can swap them in and out during battle. Kind of like Dragon Quest IV with the wagon. That there's characters in the wagon and characters out of the wagon. He won't say ni. Once again, I'm, get I'm just not having a lot of luck here. I'm not getting any slams or counters. Last time I had one counter. I haven't had a single one this time. This guy's a piece of shit. Counter attack. There we go. There's a counter. Okay. I may have gone overboard with the herbs this time. There's a counter. Okay. We're doing a little better. Yep. Everybody gains experience points. Because they're all technically there. Even if they don't participate in the battle. Um, Breath of Fire 2 is a little worse with that, in a sense. Because you you actually had to physically leave your characters in, the, in your hometown that you weren't using. So they did not gain experience. So you had to occasionally return to the town and swap out characters. And due to the fact that they all had their special abilities, there would always be... Like, you might never want to use Sten, but there's at places only Sten can access. You know what I mean? So... Hmm. I mean, I'd love to go through the game with just, like, Ryu. Uh, probably, like, Bao, even though he's usually low level, because he's such a good healer. Cat, for sure. Cat's great. And then, like, uh, you know, either Nina or Dees. Yeah, not Sten like Dragon Age Sten. Because remember, Dragon Age Sten, that wasn't his name, that was his title. There's a there's a little monkey man in Breath of Fire 2 named Sten. Yeah, but the thing is, like, Spar, or Aspar, as he's supposed to be called, is the only one that can walk through trees. And Sten is the only one that could pull you across small gaps. Yeah, I figured you were thinking Dragon Age. I remember when I first played Dragon Age Origins, and I'm like, Sten? Like the monkey from Breath of Fire 2? 
The good thing is, when you get to that arc point, he doesn't get to attack on that turn. So let's see, how many hits is it going to take? Gotta heal. Yeah, Dragon Age Origins was awesome. I've never actually played any of the other Dragon Age games. I have a copy of Dragon Age 2 for Xbox, but I never played it. And I never got it on PC because it's like it wasn't on Steam for the longest time due to an issue between EA and Valve. And I've never played uh, Inqu Inqu Inquisition. Alright, level 9. That wasn't too bad. How could this be? I've been defeated! Ah! And then he explodes. The machine is generating a strange noise. You find a key. Will you take it? Yes. You pull the earth... The, the earth. It is the earth key. You pull the key from the machine. You know, usually I've heard that a lot of people didn't like Dragon Age 2. That, that it wasn't bad, but they just didn't like it as much. But that they liked Inquisition a lot. But, you know. Hey, what's up? It's me, Brad. <laughs> as we suspected, the device within the palace was causing the quakes. Let's go, you. The king is waiting for us. You gave up Nanai to destroy the forces of the Dark Dragons. It was a tough choice to make, but results show that you're a true hero. Travel east to... Okay, so it says Winland. It's supposed to be Windia. They definitely fucked that up. Travel east of Windia. There you'll find a cave to another kingdom. I wish you could stay, but I know destiny leads you elsewhere. Good luck, warrior. Thank you, you saved our kingdom. Yeah, alright, you say the same thing. I never should have enlisted as a soldier. I'm not cut out for it. Clearly not. So you can come back here at one point, and the whole place is fixed up. I will try to remember to do that. Our home time... Oh, wow, you're a little behind, dude. You haven't heard the news. Our confidence is in you, Grave Warrior. We must stay here and rebuild. Wasn't that the issue with Dragon Quest? Uh, Dragon Quest, Dragon Age Two, was that they used reused the maps a lot. I heard that that was like the major issue that a lot of people had with Dragon Age Two, was a lot of the areas were copy pasted. But I don't know. I've played Dragon Age Origins and its expansion uh, numerous times. Always enjoy it. Sometimes I think about playing the other ones, but it's never like a very strong urge. Because everything I hear is, they're good, but not as good. You know what I mean? Like, I always hear, yeah, Inqui Inquisition's good, or Dragon Age 2 is good, but eh, the first one's still better. I remember when I went to pick up Dragon Quest Nine on the DS, like, what, it was like the day it came out, I went to GameStop, and I asked them for Dragon Quest Nine, and the guy thought I said Dragon Age Nine, and he kept saying that, like, Dragon Age Nine, and I'm like, no, it's... No, it's Dragon Quest. He's like, yeah, I think we have Dragon Age 9. I'm like, no, no, you don't, because that's not what it is. This is one time where I walked into games. I forgot what I was getting. This is a long time ago. And the two guys that worked there were talking about... I believe they were talking about Dishonored. Uh, this. No, this is wrong. I'm supposed to go past Nanai. My bad. This is bad. All right. And one guy asked the other of his opinion on Dishonored. And he said, it's not very long, but it's a lot of fun. And I could not help myself. I go, that's what she said. I couldn't help myself, you know? And then I hear the one guy, like, like he clearly did not want to react. He wanted to remain professional. professional. But I hear him under his breath go, oh, snap. <laughs> like, it's just, just low enough where nobody else but me could hear it. Oh, snap. It's not very long, but it's a lot of fun. That's what she said. Oh, snap. I couldn't help myself. It was like, you set me up, you know? I can't not say it. Maturity is overrated. Although I always said that maturity is knowing when when to be immature. Honestly, the last time I stepped into a GameStop was probably to get like like Pokemon Ultra Moon or something. Dishonored's a great game. I still haven't played Dishonored 2 though. I have it, I just haven't played it. 
Ah, fuck. Bulla, bulla, bulla. Yeah. Not worried about my health. I'm almost at the town. And believe it or not, for a little while, we're not even going to be playing as Ryu for a while. Oh, there's a burb. An entire ass burb. There is Windia. This is Windia. It's spelled and pronounced differently somehow. Alright, let me just see if there's anything going on here. Nope. Okay. Yeah, at the, there was a point where I was pretty much only going... I'd stopped like, playing console games, and I was only really going to buy like stuff for the 3DS. I do want to stay at the end, though. Even though I'm not going to be playing as him for a little while. Oh, Toys R Us. That's old school. Anything back here that I want? I don't think so. A lot of inns have items, but... You can also, like, eat the... Like, when you see fish like that, you can gain, like, a small... I'm bumping hit points by eating it. But never eat potatoes. It actually lowers your health. For some reason, potatoes are really unhealthy in the world of Breath of Fire. Maybe dragons are, like, allergic to potatoes or something. Whoa, that is not the right button to be pressing to talk to somebody. When I grow up, I'm going to sort like my brothers and sisters. You can get high. You can get to Skande by land or by sea. There's no ports anywhere near Skande, and it's completely surrounded by mountains, so no, you have to fly there. There is a port to the east. I mean, there is a port far to the east, but that's not relevant. Skande is the base of the Dark Dragons. All right, a Vigor Potion. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, wrong button. Wow, aliens, colonial marines. How disappointed were you? Like, oh, this is going to be great. And you boot up and you're like, what the fuck is this shit? Go up here real quick. Or some apples and some fish. We are the clan of the wing. As adults, we can turn into birds. The dark dragons have threatened us, but we won't give in to them. Don't need items, but I'm going to just see if there's... No, okay. Um, I'm going to not buy any stuff until later, because, like I said, we're not going to be using him for a bit. So there's no sense in spending money just yet. Well, there you go. There's a way to patch Ali the, the PC version, at least, of Aliens Colonial Marines to make it better. Like... AI-wise, but still, the graphics are still jank. The Wizard of Karma is helping the Dark Dragons. This is a bad sign. Yeah, it's usually a bad sign when wizards help Dark Dragons. Nothing there? Okay. I'll check the upstairs. Oh, you can fix the graphics? Oh, okay. I know you can fix the graphics, like, in the PC version of Watch Dogs, uh, not that I would be playing any Ubisoft games anytime soon, but basically, Watch Dogs was scaled back to be on parity with the uh, piece with the uh, console versions. But you can unlock what the demos look like. You can't use the tunnel leading to the next land without the kings. Okay, okay, all right. We haven't seen the king for some time. I wonder if he's okay. The king has refused an offer from the Dark Dragons. He will not betray the other kingdoms. Good for him. The forest people may have fled their land and built... May have? That is not what it says. The forest people have fled their land and built a village called Tantar. The backwards land of Romero is to the northwest. And yes, that absolutely is a reference to George A. Romero. Because it's full of zombies. I once heard of a hero who could turn into a dragon. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's me, except I can't turn into a dragon just yet. Not nothing there. Okay. You'd actually see Nina over there. Right, let's talk to these guys first. Welcome to the castle of Windia. Welcome to the castle of Windia. You want to see the king? Please wait here. Princess Nina, the king is a visitor. Should I tell him the king is ill? No, if word gets out that the king has been poisoned, our people might panic. Keep this quiet until we can get the remedy. It may be very difficult to find. Princess, our visitor has been waiting. 
For only like three seconds, but okay. Show him to one of the guest rooms, please, and ask him to stay. Princess Nina, are you going to look for the remedy alone? Don't worry, I can take care of myself. I'm worried about the princess. I'll find someone to help her. Thank you. Ba, ba, ba. The king isn't here. Uh, please wait until he returns. So Ryu takes a fucking siesta, and then we're going to play as Nina for a bit. You must be tired. You can stay here for the night. It's a really unique way of introducing a new character, and I wish Breath of Fire would have done it more. But it's really just this one time. There's no point in any of the other games where you just randomly control a new character like that. I must do my part to save the king and the country. Alright, so you what's cool though is you do have access to all of Ryu's inventory. And I have a suede cape. I don't know if she uses that, but I'll check real quick. No, she can't use that. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. Like, I've never actually played uh, Aliens Colonial Marines. You can visit the king, though. He's over here. Ba, 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 ba. Bananas? Fresh bananas every day! Wait, 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 wait. We gotta do this so I can make a clip for June. Fresh bananas every day. That one's for you, June. I made a clip. Okay, let me put it back the way. Now the fun's over. I gotta put it back the way it was. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, that's, that's too small. There we go. All right. Oh, still needs to be a little slightly bigger on top. Oh, oh god, that's what she said. Um, Shithid. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. It's just a joke that me and June make. Karma is on the other side of the mountains to the northwest, but we can't leave the castle in case of a dark dragon invasion. The king got sick after opening Zog's letter. It must have been poison. The Wizard of Karma has used that trick before. So how come he don't have people for that? Since my illness, you've done your duties well. I don't have much time. June even has a, a screen on the stream for fresh bananas every day. It's like a long-standing joke. That is mostly June's joke, but I make it too. Just kind of like $4. $4. Which technically is neither of our joke. It's Penny Arcade's joke, but me and June have made it a thing. There's a couple of items you can grab in the castle before you leave, so we're gonna do that. Herb. Herb. So she doesn't use the same weapons, she uses rapiers. Uh, let me go down there, actually. Ba 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 ba. We can't get to those treasures yet. It'll be a while before we can get to those, actually. Princess Nina, what are you doing at this hour? here at this hour? Princess Nina, what are you doing here at this hour? Y'all are some repetitive motherfuckers. Nah, I say the same thing. Like, why are you questioning it? I'm the fucking princess, bitch. You'll do whatever the fuck I want. Antidote. Oh, something really funny coming up. Herb. See that one guy that's, that looks different? I don't, I, I, it, this cracks me up still to this day. You're gonna see, though. The backward land of Romero is to the northwest. I once heard of it. Uh, these are the same guys from upstairs. They're just down here now. All right, check it out. This is a normal sleeping NPC. <laughs> this is this weirdo. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe it's a different part. I remember him going shoop. Maybe it's a different guy. Or maybe I'm thinking of Breath of Fire 2, where there's a weird sleeping guy who goes shoop. But uh, apparently it's not that dude, or it's not at this point. Anyway. You can get in here. Suede shield. Suede helmet. Herb. Antidote. All right. All right, way better defense. She's only level five, and she doesn't have the best defense. Also, actually, hold on, big big important thing. 
Oh, she is in the back row. Okay, I wanted to make sure she'd be in the back row. Because even though she uses a rapier, she dashes forward to the enemy, so... But she, she really needs the little bit of extra defense you get but in the back row. So this is why I didn't go to the uh, weapon shop with Ryu, because I wanted to have the money to do it with Nina. Alright, so let's see. Uh, bronze rapier? Let's see. That's better than her short rapier. We'll get that. And let's see. Suede helmet? I already have that, don't I? Yeah. Which... Uh, suede gown? Yeah. It's better than the dress. And the dress is actually worth so much that you have the same amount of money, so you actually break even on that. Vi Wait, she doesn't use the visor. And she doesn't use the chain mail either. Okay, so... And we're about to get two extra party members, but um, you can change their equipment, but since they're temp party members, I never bother. They're strong enough to protect her. Basically, as soon as you go in the dungeon, they join you. There we go. Hey, what's up? We heard what's going on. You can't make it on your own. We won't let you through unless you, we go along, okay? Yes. The soldiers join the party. Like I said, you could totally change their equipment if you want to, but it's not necessary. What is necessary is making sure that they're in the front row and she's in the back. These guys don't even have names. They're literally Soldier 1 and 2. And I don't think they level up. They might, but I don't think they do. Yeah, some temp party members, exactly. There's actually three soldiers. One of them joins you later. I think that's a pretty important item to get there. All right. And she actually has some magic. She has Cura, Fortify, and Heal, which is for... Uh, so Cura is, uh, is your healing spell, and Heal is your uh, curing spell, ironically. A lot of games seem to do that shit. Oh, oh I also forgot. Since I have the Earthquake key... Um, the Earthquake Key, ha uh, if you use it as an item in battle, it does 30 damage to every enemy, which is not a lot. Okay, it's where I want it to be. But it's usually more than what Nina can do on her own, and since it does attack all enemies, that's just a cure. Uh, I want to make sure I get everything in this cave, because I'm pretty sure there's an important item hanging around here somewhere. I mean, it's not worth it to do it to one enemy, but in groups of enemies... Especially since she's usually doing like 15 damage. She can do 30 damage to all enemies. Or anybody can use it. But I usually have her use it. Suede gown. Uh, I think she's wearing that, right? Yeah, she is. But we can sell that one or whatever. Four dollars. Yeah, let me back up. There was something I missed. I love that they throw spears. Like, you wouldn't expect these winged guys to have spears like that. But it's just an interesting way of doing it, you know? And then her with the rapier. It's just a very interesting... Every every character uses a different weapon, you know? Like, Ryu has his swords. Nina's the rapiers. Then there's Karn using throwing daggers. There's somebody who uses canes, there's somebody who uses tridents, there's somebody who uses hammers. Um, there's one guy that uses claws, you know. Herb. I don't know, should I have gone this way or the other way? I don't really remember. But yeah. But yeah, the earth key will wipe out most groups of enemies at this point in the game. It's actually a long ass time before the Earth. Yeah, like magic cane. Oh, I should have gone the other way first. It's actually DC uses the canes. She shoots magic with it. It's a she, but yeah. Kane's the enemy. With magic. Eh, maybe I should have used the earthquake key there. There's a point later in the game where Nina gets a completely different sprite and, uh,. Attack animation too. Unfortunately, by that point, I'm not using her in battle a whole lot because she's not super useful in battle. She's really a healer. 
Yeah. All right. I was right the first time. Like, a, like, like, like they call him Canes. It's like a wizard staff, you know. Like, yes, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Ah, I should use a damn earthquake key. Slam. Fresh nanners every day. Yeah. Up here. All right. Yeah, it's a staff. Yeah. Damn. Exactly. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I'm not sure that these guys ever level up. I don't think they gain experience points. The same thing with the third soldier that helps you out a little bit later. Oh, that guy's in the bat in um in a party so quickly, and he uh is in an area that there's not a whole lot of enemies in. It's very very possible that he'll never be fight. Well, you could definitely do that in Dragon Quest games, you know. Oh, there it is, the Iron Ore. We'll need that for later. Very important item. And four dollars. Yeah. If you miss the Iron Ore, there will be a point where you will not be able to continue until you come back here and get it. Oh, what am I doing? So you have to get that. And by the way, the part with the Iron Ore is actually the dumbest fucking shit. Because you're supposed to go into this forest dungeon, right? And I, I swear I'm not making this up. You can't get into the forest dungeon. Because there's a giant fucking tree in the way. Like, wrap your head around that. I can't enter this forest because there's a tree in the way. So you have to take the iron ore and have somebody make it into a saw. So you can cut down that one tree and you can finally enter the forest. I swear I'm not making this up. Really dumb shit. Capcom literally couldn't see the forest for the trees. As a matter of fact, in Dragon Quest XI, there's an old man character that you can give canes to. That, you know. Herb. I mean, there's several characters they could use. They call them heavy wands, but when you look at them, it's just a fucking cane. How many different ways can you destroy it with magic? A lot. <laughs> How am I doing? But yeah, you know, what's funny is though, yeah, like, or you could just walk around it, right? Couldn't you just walk around the tree that's blocking the path? Since it's a forest and there's trees everywhere? Like, just try to imagine a situation where you're like, I wish I can get into that forest. But there's a tree in the way. Alright, there's a bolt stone. So I don't know who really thought up Nina's battle outfit since it's basically a bathing suit. I mean, I guess you could say it's a leotard, but... It looks like a bathing suit to me. Like, if you look, um... Hold on. I mean, okay, that is basically a bathing suit with a little breastplate on it, right? Isn't that what it is? The chat's back, but whenever I hide it, it, like, clears out. It's basically a bathing suit with a little breastplate attached to it. Dead or alive? Well, no, see, if it was dead or alive, she would have gigantic jugs. And they would have their jiggle frames. Nina's actually very, um, uh, petite. In fact, in the manga, she was complaining about her titties were too small. Alright, there's a cold stone. Nothing to do with ice cream. It literally casts an ice spell. All right, here we are, and this is Romero. Is it daytime? That's nah, not a nighttime. This is Romero. Karma is to the west of here, and Agua is north. And then north, northwest. I'm back from my eternal sleep. I missed my wife. Then you should have been around more often when you were alive. She's got a zombie husbando. 
Ever since I returned from the dead, I felt weak and faint. I wonder if that's normal. It's not normal to return from the dead, my dude. The remedy brought me back to life. I haven't eaten, but I feel fine. That's because you need to eat you some brains. The remedy brought me back to life. Oh, okay. Yeah, same, th same thing. Yep. It's definitely named after George A. Romero. Every uh, same, same thing. If you come during the day, the living people are here. I'm going to stay at the inn just so the living people are here and we can talk to them. Because all the zombies kind of say the same shit, you know? This is the town of Romero. Ah. Hold on one second, guys. All right. Anything in here that I want? Let's see. That is not the right button to be pressing. Luck potion. All right. I'm not. I'm gonna save it for you, though. See now these people. They're these are living people. The girls disappeared after the wizard began to use his potion. Hey, come here. The wizard used a potion to turn the dead into zombies. The girls of the village have gone. Were they tired of country life? This is from... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Same thing. Look at this guy running in circles. What's up, dude? My girlfriend's gone. I think she's met someone else. Definitely. Hot wizard. Karma's full of monsters. It's spooky. Three spooky, five me. The zombies only move at night. They sleep in the dark places during the day. The girl, they, they sleep in beds. You can actually see them in the beds. The girls are gone, and the undead are roaming around the village. This is terrible. Oh, this is the lady with the zombie husband. Everyone in the village calls me grandma. That's because you're old. Oh, yeah, there's this thing. Why is this hole here? I don't know. It's your house. I'll check it out. We can go down here. We live here secretly. There are quite a few of us. Dude, there's two of you. What a mess. These jars are out of order and the map is missing. So. This is actually where you can get the, the in-game map. You just do that. And then you search. You take the map. Now we have the in-game map. And you can't get to that guy because there's a lock thing there. I could come back later when I have the ability to pick locks. But watch. Just to talk to that asshole. Seems kind of sus, no? Did I go in this one yet? Yeah, I did. It's Grandma. Grandma's house. She'll make you some Slappy Jules. Slap, Slappy Jules. Who <laughs> remembers Slappy Jules? Oh, the 90s. Oh. <laughs> I can just change the channel. Alright. There's another Arthur potion. Po potion. Arthur portrait there. Proton B. Is a really weird item. I think it just raises a stat in battle. Like, I will never use that. I might even just sell it just because it's useless. No. See, yeah, the zombies are sleeping in baths. So. <laughs> the child of George A. Romero. The A stands for A. Oh, the zombie guy. I'm gonna talk to the zombie. Oh, wait, he's sleeping. Never mind. Shoop! Bow, bow, bow. Welcome to Weapon Shop. Let's see. Uh, I think it's the same shit as the last one. I would only buy stuff for her. There's a gown and a silk gown. Let me just check the stats on these. Alright, the gown's 47. The silk gown, I think, is worse. Yeah, it's 44. It's more expensive because it's silk. Silk gown is kind of the item that you find it, and then you just sell it. All right, so I don't have enough money, so I got to oh, sell some stuff. So I will sell this suede gown. And the proton B I'm never going to use. And the suede cape. If anything, I can get 2,000 for the uh, cure, but I don't want to do that. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. Like I said, you can change the soldier's equipment, but why? They're not going to be around for too long. They leave after a while. The color of the ground is changing. It must be because of the potion. I think there's just some, like, pigs in here or something like that. Yeah, and then later there's no pigs. And they say that the zombies ate the pigs. There's a little neat touch there. Just one of those thangs. All right, that's Agua, but we're not going there. I just wanted to show it to you. 
And that's Agua. We're not going to Agua, we're going to Karma. We couldn't even access Agua at this point, though. You need an uh, item called a tablet to get in there. A tablet. So this is a forest. It's not the forest dungeon I was talking about, but it is a forest dungeon. Poison bugs all up in this bitch. Gonna kill them with the Earth Key. Not many enemies at this point can withstand that. I think the spiders that appear might have more than 30 hit points, but... You can actually just walk straight left through this, but there's some treasure chests I'm gonna grab. I'll probably just get through this dungeon and then we'll call it a day, you know? Maybe. We'll see. Then on how I'm feeling. Nina's level 6. And she learned Luck Up. That's a spell that I will never use. All right. Yeah, so I think the spiders can withstand the Earth Key, but that's why I have these soldiers. Yeah. Looks like they probably have 35 hit points. Hey. You know what's crazy is that when I was a kid and I was playing this game for the first time, I had no idea that you could use the Earth Key as an item. You know, so I got this game for like my birthday or something or Christmas. I forget what it was, but it was just the loose cartridge. I didn't have the instruction manual or anything. Got a dark kiss. I'm like a dark kiss, am I right? So I had to muddle through it on my own, you know, and I didn't know a lot of things that would have made the game a lot easier. For example, using the Earth Key. I think I did discover it either way later when it wasn't super useful or on a subsequent playthrough. I discovered that. As there's other keys you get that have uses, you know. Not every key you get has a use, but some of them do. The Earth Key is probably the most useful one because of the whole thing about wiping out enemies easily at the beginning of the game. Groups of them, at least. For something like this, I think we don't need to. Herb. Damn it, Herb. <laughs> I'm a creep. I'm a creep. I'm a wiener. I actually also got Breath of Fire 2 as a loose cartridge. But that's because uh, there was a like a TV repair shop that was like right next to the comic book store that I went to back in the day. This is about 96, right? Maybe 95, actually. 95, 96, around there. I'd walk to this comic store and there was a TV repair shop that was right next door and they had like loose Super Nintendo games that they put in the window. They were 10 bucks a piece and I would always look to see what they had, you know. And one day I saw Breath of Fire 2 and I was like, oh damn, I didn't even know there was a Breath of Fire 2, you know. And I picked it up. That's how I got 2. Breath of Fire 3 I actually bought on eBay. It was like right after I got the PlayStation. Uh, I bought the, When I bought the PlayStation, I got two games with it. It was Castlevania and Tenchu. And then Breath of Fire 3, I couldn't find any stores, so I bought off of eBay. Oh, nice, Matic. Uh, Breath of Fire 4, I got for, like, my birthday. My uncle got it for me for my birthday. And then Breath of Fire 5, I just, like, fucking bought at GameStop. <laughs> hey, the Fable, what's going on? Ooh. Breath of Fire 4 is your favorite? Oh, man. It is tough for me to say whether 3 or 4 is my favorite. And what it comes down to is I think that Breath of Fire 4 has a better story. It has better graphics. It has a better soundtrack. But Breath of Fire 3, his stonks lol, is more fun. What up, Wayne? G amigo brr. And there's nothing wrong with the gameplay of Breath of Fire 4. It's just I prefer the gameplay of Breath of Fire 3. Also, Breath of Fire 5 has got to be one of the most underrated games in existence. I love Breath of Fire 5. Can't wait for you guys to see my Let's Play. I did record it for YouTube. 
I'm sure. Wait, is it right after? Hold on. Is it right after Final Fantasy IV After Years or not? Let me bring up my Let's Play folder. Oh, no, no, it's not. East 5 is after. And then after East 5. Finally on your lunch break? Nice. Let's see what we got here. Herb. 5 is difficult, but it's it's made to be difficult. It's it, it expects you to not be able to get through it in one shot. It expects you to restart several times. The way that Breath of Fire 5 works, for anybody who doesn't know, it's really interesting. It's an incredibly difficult game with a deep tactical bent to the combat. And what happens is you're expected to either lose battles after a while or get to the point where you just can't continue because it's just too difficult. And you have the option of restarting. And what happens is, uh, when you restart, you do go to level 1, but there's something called party XP that you can take with you. And you can take any items that are in storage with you. So, you can do that a few times and then get to the point where you can start from like level 12 or whatever with good weapons, you know. And then all of a sudden the game's a little easier and then it's a while before it gets hard. Breath of Fire 5 is pretty short, but you're expected to restart several times. And the cool thing is that every time you restart, the cutscenes get a little longer. Like, there's extra parts to the cutscenes that only happen if you're on a restart. If you're going to stream some classic JRPGs, that's not, that. I mean, that sounds fucking fantastic to me. What am I doing here? Yeah. What's your favorite classic JRPG? Final Fantasy IV. Not a bad choice. I once said that Final Fantasy IV is a high school play put on by some theater students who are extremely extra and just looked up melodrama in the dictionary. That is not a bad thing. It's glorious. Like, it's so over-the-top ridiculous, and I love it for, for every bit of its silliness. Final Fantasy IV is almost aggressively silly. And the funny thing is how serious it takes itself. Like, every time it kills off a character, I'm like, yeah, see you in about five minutes. They do that so... Why do I keep doing that? They do it so often where a character just dies and then turns up alive. The only character that dies in Final Fantasy IV that stays dead is Tella. But I think my favorite non-death has got to be Sid. Because he just shows up. And he's just like, hey, I'm alive somehow. And they're like, Sid, we saw you die. Yeah, it takes more than that to kill me. Like, no, like, we literally saw you explode, Sid. What the fuck? Ah, airships. <laughs> That's basically what happens. Oh, yeah. Ga well, Gala, yeah. I once read a, it was a wiki thing. And it was like, this is a list of every Square Enix character that has died. Not counting, you know, like, NPCs and shit, but like every playable party member character that has died. And, um, basically it was, oh, why I do that? That's fine, that's fine. It was nine, it was ten characters. Ten party members have died in Square Enix games. And we're talking about permanent deaths. And it was nine Final Fantasy characters and one Dragon Quest character. It was like, okay, most of the cast of Final Fantasy 2, you know, because he had like what, like, uh, Ricard and that, uh, Minwoo, Ricard, Minwoo, Layla didn't die, she lives, but there were two, there were, there were four characters in Final Fantasy 2 that die. I can remember Ricard and Minwoo, I can't remember the other two. Um, and then it was like, Tella, Galif. Eris, you know, and like a few other Final Fantasy characters. And then, you know, from Dragon Quest XI. I'm not going to say the name because maybe some of y'all haven't played it. And I'm going to be streaming it again soon because I'm going to play 11S. That's going to be the, the Sunday after this Sunday. No, actually, I'm sorry. No, not Sunday. The Saturday after this Saturday. Because this Saturday I want to finish up Legend of Heroes 4 and then we'll move on to... Uh, 
Dragon Quest XI S. I'll, I'll come back and do Legend of Heroes 5. I'll continue that, but I want to get Dragon Quest XI S in there. Okay, no, I'm not counting the character who died in Dragon Quest V because he wasn't really a party member. In the points where he was in your party, you did not control him. There is a character that died in Dragon Quest XI. I'm not going to mention it, because like I said, we're going to be streaming it again, and maybe some people are going to experience that for the first time. Like I said, it, many characters have died in Dragon Quest games, but usually they were non-party members. Yeah, he was basically a guest party member in the very beginning of the game. You couldn't control him. But it was funny, like, here's the list of Square Enix party members that have died, and it's almost all Final Fantasy. Dragon Quest XI was extremely daring. It did, th like, they never had the end of the world happen in a Dragon Quest game before. That was like a Final Fantasy VI thing, you know? Here's Karma. And they definitely never had uh, a character, a major character like that, die. Uh, do I need to go? I think... Hold on. I don't think I need to go down here, but I'm going to check it out. There's healing, potion, uh, healing potions right there. Not potions. What do you call them? Healing pools. Something with a P. Wait. I just read what you said, Fabled. Some videos explain the final fight, which you... Wait, what are you talking about? What, the final fight of what game? A Final Fantasy IV? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because... Well, technically, you're fighting a alien zombie. Because Zemus is like the alien demon that you're supposed to fight at the end, right? And then you get to that point, and it, by the time you get there, it's like, oh, hey, guys. Yeah, uh, Fusoya and uh, Galbez just killed Zemus, so we're good. And then Zemus' hatred turns into Zeramus. So he's like a kind of a wraith or a, or a zombie kind of thing, you know? Healing hydrogen, two parts oxygen. Ah. That's like that, like when I showed that that picture of like the cross section of a sandwich I made. Uh, Sir Will in the Discord said, "Oh, you're doing like the binging with Babish thing," because he always shows the cross section. And I go, "Today we're going to be making air. Take two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, and tiny whisk until homogeneous." <laughs> you guys have never watched binging with Babish. It's like my favorite cooking show on YouTube. He's fucking amazing. Oh, she learned to tack up. I might actually use that once or twice. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is where you fall down if you hit a pit, but there's some treasures there. So we got an herb. One single poison bug? That's almost insulting. They're so weak, Nina can kill it without the earth key in one shot. Herb. All right. There's that guy we're going to have to fight. I don't know if I have to fight him right away. I might want to walk around a bit. Let's see. I forget. Oh, I keep doing this. I keep doing that. But yeah, Zeramos is basically dead Zemus. Oh, definitely the game book. No, actually, none of the above. The PSP version. Fabled. Because you get a really cool 2D... Hey, Stefania Lasagna, what's going on? Um, oh, you're, you're, have you ever met Benjamin Mamish? He's such, he seems like such a cool dude. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the PSP version of, um, Final Fantasy IV. Not only do you basically get the Game Boy Advance version with better graphics, but you get Interlude and After Years, which if you go to my YouTube channel, same name as on here, I'm uploading a Let's Play of After Years right now. The 3D version, I don't like the way the characters look. I think it's goony as fuck. And especially the Steam version is especially insulting because it's like After Years is so woefully uh, unfinished. Like, if you try to play the PC version of Final Fantasy IV After Years, it's a joke. It's it's not even half completed. That's why my friend uh, Clint, also known as Noofy Bonga, Noofy Bonga 1986 here on Twitch, he tried to Let's Play 
after years, and he gave up after a while because he was like, this is bullshit, they didn't even finish the game. He does seem really cool. I would love to hang out with Bobbish and learn from him. What do we got here? Oh, wow, a Moondrop. That is a ridiculously powerful item. A Moondrop will heal all eight party members to full, gets rid of status effects, and revives. You could also sell it for a stupid amount of money, which is called Zenny in this. Capcom had a thing with calling money Zenny in their games. It wasn't just Breath of Fire, like um, Mega Man Legends did the same thing. Zenny literally is derived from the word in Japanese, which means coins. Which is why in Final Fantasy games, some of the ninjas have an ability to throw. They, some some translations call it guild throw, but it's, it's Zenny Nage, which basically means to throw coins which actually has its roots in actual ninja lore, not bullshit Hollywood ninja lore, but actual ninja lore, where um, the origin of a shuriken, which we think of as being a throwing star, that a ninja would throw and it would like embed itself in somebody's skull and kill them. Well, let, here, I'll type, I'll type it in the chat so you can see how it's spelled. Uh, Zeninage. Um, an actual shuriken were actually coins. Not badass sharpened coins, regular ass fucking coins. And the ninja would throw them, not in an attempt to hurt somebody, but as a distraction. Because imagine if you're like, hey, what are you doing here? And then this motherfucker threw like 30 quarters in your face. And you're like, ow, that bitch, what the fuck? And then he's gone. That's because ninjas, they weren't fighters. Do I need to? Yeah, there's a treasure chest down there. They weren't fighters. They were assassins. They weren't out there with badass ninja swords fighting guys. They would likely sneak poison into your meal or sneak into your house at night and cut your throat. That's how ninjas did their business. Yeah, they were usually... Um, serfs that were hired by the the shogun or possibly a local samurai to do some dirty work for them the samurai were the warriors but samurai never assassinated because it was considered to be um you had to give it was not honorable you had to give your opponent a fair fight so if somebody wanted somebody dead and they didn't want to give them a fair fight they didn't want to duel them they would uh send a ninja, which was usually just some poor fucking schmuck who needed the money, owned a set of dark blue clothes, another moon drop, wow, and was willing to sneak into somebody's house and kill them in their sleep. Wait, I don't need to heal. I can go to the healing pool. And a lot of times, you're right, a lot of times they were farmers or just whoever. Well, I keep doing that. Yes, I've heard about that. The toilet assassin. <laughs> I could throw dung in his mouth while he's asleep. Yeah. The ninja's favorite weapon was not being seen. <laughs> also, samurais. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a lot of Japanese history for you guys because I do know a lot of it for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why I know all this shit. I just do. Samurai uh, did not typically use swords in battle. They they had swords, absolutely. But the the swords were usually used to cut off the head of an opponent who was surrendering, because an opponent would surrender and they would commit seppuku, where they would basically slice open their fucking gut with their tanto, which is like a knife, and then the other dude would cut off his head to relieve him of his suffering. That was considered normal in feudal Japan. So anyway, the, the main weapon that a samurai would use is actually a bow. Yeah, it's a little creepy, but that, that was feudal Japan for you. They, they would never allow themselves to be captured or anything like that. So if you were overcome by an opponent and he wasn't just going to outright kill you, you could commit seppuku. Go away! Nobody's home! Alright, here we go. This guy's uh, is Morte? Yeah, he's pretty easy. We're just going to go ham on him. Critical hit. I don't need to use any items here. You get out of here, Fable? 
By the way, if you're not in the Discord, uh, Moogle posted a link a little while ago. But yeah. Wayne, don't reference that. Jesus. If you think about that reference, it's not... You're in the Discord? Okay, cool, man. We'll see you around. Why did I stop the auto battle there? Like, I'm not going to heal these guys. I might... You know, why am I not using the fucking Earth Key? It's more damage than what... That's okay. Like, there's no purpose to healing these guys. They don't ever gain experience points. They're just meat shields. But I could have finished this much sooner if I wasn't... Harping the Darpa Tiddly Tart. Morte began crying. Oh, you guys are so fucking mean. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I could have killed him a lot faster. That was dumb. Alright, and we'll just run back here to heal. Nina drinks the water. Somehow the other two heal. Whoop, whoop. I didn't mean to do it twice. <laughs> and by the way, in case you thought I was joking, no, it really does heal all of them. It doesn't say the party drank the water. It says Nina drank the water. Oh, he dead. Yeah, but if you... That's like... One of the few episodes of Aqua Teen that I'm just like, oh boy, that has aged like fucking cheese. No, not even. Like milk. It aged like milk. It aged like yogurt. Left me a message in the Discord? Take a look. I see you there. Well, never, never feel like you can't talk in the Discord. We do enjoy some discourse. Alright, we got some gong heads. Or beaks. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, itchy ear. <laughs> I think there's a treasure down here. Oh, Dickisode's good though. Dickisode was hilarious. I love how they like they they just repeat the word dick ad nauseum throughout the whole thing. And then at the end, like, there's that reporting. It's like, these are the actions of a real, uh... Oh, there's got to be a word for this. He's like, uh, somebody you don't like. Like, uh... Oh, God, I can't think of it. Like, that was fucking great. Like, all of a sudden, they weren't saying dick anymore. Are you saying I don't know dick? I must construct the dick, dick ship to get back to dick planet. Charm. Okay. I forget if that's an item or equipment. I'm going to look at that, actually. Oh, it's an item. Alright, no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh. Really? One little poison bug? Er, dead. I don't even know if the poison bugs even have hit points. Like, I don't even know... They might have one hit point. Like, I'm not even sure if it's possible to hit a poison bug and not immediately kill it. It's kind of like, though, like, it wasn't the most original thing, because it was like, okay, they're doing, like, with South Park when they said shit, like, 167 times or whatever the hell it was. You can see there's a second boss to fight there. Cure! Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Spoder. It's a Spoderman. Bomb. Oop. Derp. Wow. Encounters. Alright. Blip. Actually, does anybody know... Can anybody, like, maybe look into it, like, how many hit points the poison bug has? Because, like, I can't imagine that they have more than, like, three fucking hit points. I don't think I've ever hit one and not killed it instantly. Like, I bet if you had, like, Ryu at level 1 with, like, the worst possible weapon, he can kill a poison bug in one shot. Oh, Gibbs. Ow! He's laying on my feet and he just went crazy because his brother barked. Chill out, dude. I've gone late, but that's okay because we had that whole, uh, period of time during the stream where I was, uh, putting away groceries. So I did say I'd go a little extra long. We can at least finish out this dungeon. Spoder. Spo 
Spider-Man! I feel like I've seen the Boston episode, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, I don't know. I have a bunch of the DVDs somewhere. I might have been on there. Ah, oh, I should use the Earthquake key. Whatever. Watch him use the Thunderbolt. No, no, he's dead. Never mind. Remember that one episode where the it like literally ended with like Shake berating Carl and just getting in his face, and then Carl's head just explodes for no reason. Waddled or that? Why wouldn't he? <laughs> I mean, I understand how the people of Boston were freaked out by those light brights and shit, especially like right after the whole bombing incident. But it's like, come on, like, don't you recognize Urnignignock from Aqua Teen? <laughs> Crow, who's making pizza? Who's making pizza? G Rules. Top Gibbs. That's not G Wiz, that's Ted Nugent. What's funny is like they, they asked Ted Nugent to be in the episode, and you know, he's kind of notoriously a dick. And they knew that. And I remember um hearing that they were like kind of unsure of how much they were gonna allow them to make fun of him, you know? So they had the idea for when he appears at the end, they were like, is it okay if we put you in like a loincloth or something? And then he, he came up with the idea. He's like, just have like a badger around my waist. And they were like, wow, okay, that's actually really funny. So Ted Nugent may be a massive chud, but at least he has a sense of humor about himself. Still a massive chud though. There's actually not many good things I can say about Ted Nugent other than he has a sense of humor about himself. Actually, that's it, right? A gigantic tool, yeah. No, small tool. <laughs> Nobody who has that many guns has a gigantic tool. <coughs> Another charm, okay. I forget what the charm does. I think it gets rid of the zombie status, which doesn't happen all that often, so... Whoa. <coughs> mm. Get a drink of water. I can't believe I got a fucking jury, nudist, jury duty notice for my dad. Like, like of all people... Of all people... The fucking government should know that he's not alive. And hasn't been. I wonder how often dead people get jury duty summons. <laughs> Wait, did you meet Eric Andre or... Oh no, you, you were on radio, that's right. Is that what you mean? It's very possible. Or it could be just you two independently came up with the same shit too. I was never a fan of his, to be honest. I was like, wow. I think you have to be high to be into this guy's stuff. Well, fuck. Honestly, at this point, the poison bugs is kind of insulting. Can anybody, can like somebody like Moogle or somebody like look into that? Like how many hit points the poison bugs in this have? Yeah, my m more my speed would have been something more like Mr. Show, you know, with Bob Odenkirk. Oh. The modern day Andy Kaufman. Mm, that's giving him a lot of credit, Wayne. That's giving him a lot of credit. It can't be 20. There's no way. It can't be, because she's doing, like, 12 damage and they die. I'm asking if you could, like, look it up on Google or something. I'm sure there's a... Uh... Here, I'll look it up. I can never get anybody to look, look things up unless EB's here. Let's see if we can find a bestiary. Oh, there's a wiki here. Let's see. Here we are. 
Bee bug, there it is. It has eight hit points. Eight. Oh. Andy Kaufman was hilarious on Taxi. Wait. This is where I came from, ain't it? Yep. Or, wait, no. I don't remember now. Shit. <laughs> is this where I came from or not? I don't think it is, actually. I think I need to go down this way. I'll know very soon. I mean, I really didn't understand the whole wrestling thing with Andy Kaufman. But I always loved his weird Letterman appearances. It is level eight. That actually puts her on parody with the two soldiers. Andy Kaufman's gone wrestling. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, Andy, did you hear about this one? Uh. Andy, are you goofing on Elvis, baby? Are you having fun? I gotta drop down one of those holes. I don't remember which one. So it's gonna be a... Uh, <laughs> a guesswork. Yeah, but like he... The, the weird wrestling shit he did where he always wrestled women. It, it, and he always got his ass kicked, too. I was like, what are you doing, dude? I think he just want, wanted muscular women to be all over him. I mean, I can I can relate. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think it's this one. Let's see. Correct. That is correct. Mm -hmm. There, eight hit points. So I don't, I don't even think it's possible to do less than eight damage in this game. Uh, let me just check here, see where this leads me. Oh, I think this leads to an item, actually. Let's get that first. I never watched Glow. Cringe as in, like, it hasn't aged well, or it was just bad? Okay, Life 2. Life 2 is exactly what you think it is. Revives a character, one character at full health. Shittiest Oh, you know what's interesting? Speaking of which, so do you remember In Living Color? I was a big fan of In Living Color back in the day, right? And Mom discovered that it was playing on some channel. She DVR'd a bunch of episodes of it, right? And we're like, let's watch In Loving Color. So we watched it, because we used to watch this shit way back in the 90s, and it was like one of our favorite shows, you know? Watched one episode, and we're like, yeah, this is still good. Second episode, we are like, ooh. Damon Wayans is doing his handicap superhero called Handyman. And we were just like, we were both cringing so hard, and we're like, yeah, I don't think we can watch this anymore. <laughs> we stopped watching at that point. My brother was watching the gate. What did you do to him? I murdered the shit out of him. So this is... Mortea. That sounds hot. Hey, Mortea, what's going on? I don't know why when I do that voice, I turn into H. John Benjamin. No, see, men on film was was kind of funny. You know, yes, it's stereotypes. But, like, I know plenty of gay guys that were not offended by men on film. They thought it was hilarious. But I can't imagine handicapped people being okay with the handyman thing. Once again, I'm not going to worry about healing unless it's Nina, which I'm going to have to heal her now. Now, what's cool about this is I can have her heal herself and have one of them use the Earthquake Key. I've never seen that, or, or at least I don't remember seeing that. But let's be honest, have you ever seen those Colt 45 commercials with Billy D. Williams? They were a little weird. It works every time. Mortea seems alright. Alright. So run the second win portion, which could be one hit, or it could be most of the battle. You never know. Okay. 
create a little bridge, go over to the other tower. Thankfully, it's not a huge, gigantic mess to get through the second tower. And if you need to go back, there's a switch right there. I think there's a healing point. Oh, no, some women there. There might be a healing point up here. Yes, okay, and a save point. Well, I guess if you like malt liquor, right? I don't mind it. Okay, so I'm actually going to stop here. I've gone way over time. It's almost 5 o'clock, which means it's almost time to feed uh, the Goobsy Dug and the Gunny Noodle. Hey, hold on, Gibbs. You're freaking me out. i got to unplug the controller because I feel like you're about to rip the wire out because you're tangled in it. There we go. So, guys, don't go anywhere just yet because we are going to do a raid. All right, I have saved my controller wire from certain doom. Oh, that maybe that's why I don't remember it because it was not really aired. Plug this back in. Okay, guys, so here we go. All right, let me save this. We'll save state it. And I'm going to go over to, um, oh, I never turned the big, the big light on. You guys should have told me it was all dark. I would have turned the big light on. That's okay, as long as you can see somewhat. Uh, but yeah, next time like if the lighting gets like this, tell me, hey, turn on the big light. Okay, well, like this, you still get to pick the raid. Uh, you can either choose somebody that you want or you can pick from my list, but let me go over the schedule first. So let's go over here. I'm going to go over the schedule for the next week or so with you guys. All right, well, if you don't have anybody to suggest, I'll give you the list of people I have and you pick. All right, so here's the schedule, guys. Join me tomorrow night. I'll be playing more Romancing Saga on the Super Famicom. Sunday night, we'll be finishing up Legend of Heroes, A Tear of Vermilion on the PSP. Monday afternoon, I will be playing King of Fighters 98 for Neo Geo. Tuesday night, we'll be playing La Mulana for Steam. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered version for Steam. Thursday night, we'll be returning with more EVO Search for Eden for the Super Famicom. And Friday afternoon, a week from today, we'll be right back here with more Breath of Fire for Super Nintendo. All right, so let's do a raid. Lycios spent the points, so Lycios gets to pick the person. I'll tell you who I got online, and you can pick. So we got some options. I got Karkala, who's playing Sukadin 3. Cat Scratch, who's playing Little Nightmares. Ems Lems, who's just chatting. Field Anish is playing Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, Darkling Kitty is playing Terraria. Or Bray Fox Live is playing Saints Row 2. Those are your choices. Just pick one of those, and we'll raid that person. Saints Row 2? Okay. I haven't raided Bray Fox Live in, like, a long time. So, let's do that. All right, let's see. Let's do something with Gibbsy. Uh, no, actually, let's use Dickles the Bee here. We'll do a generic one, because I haven't seen Bray Fox in a long time. Okay. All right, guys, there's your raid call. Go ahead, copy that, paste it as we head into Ray Fox, Ray Fox Live's channel. He's playing Saints Row 2. Look like causing quite a bit of mayhem right now. So we're going to head over there. I will see you guys on um, his channel. I'll see you guys on the Discord. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for more Legend of Heroes. Or no, I'm sorry, Romancing Saga. And I'll see you around in general. Here we, we fucking go. Thank <laughs> you.